All right, so you can make quick kind of models like this for architectural uses and pose them quite sort of quickly. You can, the way I used to use it was I use, well, I still do use make human, you make the clothes, then you import it to Blender, then you rig it, then you make sure you, it, the geometry is correct and you take it to a 3D print software. And um, let's just delete this. There's a, I just wanted to play around with this kind of make human in Blender. So it's called MPFB. Um, you can go to preferences, type in M, is it MB? See, so even the name, MBFB, MP, MPFB. Okay, make human, MPFB. And you know, if you're doing architectural stuff or imaginary stuff with little figures like I do, it's quite useful to be able to make, you know, humans quickly rather than just, you know, sort of custom ones if you need a pose rather than buying like a pack of ones from online. And then once that's done, you need to just make sure in the library you've got um, the library should be here. And then here you basically load the zip file wherever it may be. So you have to load the assets in as well, which I find a bit annoying. Is there not any way you can just load it all in anyway? So the instructions are here. I'll give you the instructions. I've obviously been watching a video as well about it, just trying to get used to it. Okay, there's some advantages with this. It means it rigs it without you having to mess around with things. So once you've done that, we can make a human from scratch. And let's just do sort of um, young, old, there's not in between, okay. Um, gender, whatever, female, muscle. Okay, so these are presets. So we can create the human. All right. And now before we add clothes, we need to rig it. So we need to go here. Why was on the 3D print? We need to go here and we need to go to rigging. So I find it it's good to actually have these clothes. There's a lot of options. And so in rigging, I'm going to go to um, defaults and add standard rig. When we try to add rig, if I rig, it only lets us add it in game. And also it doesn't see some of the controls are a bit questionable in my opinion they're not moving whether you know it's good but let's just add standard rig I don't want to say this is bad because it's a great program and it's open source so you know the the MPFB in blender let's go to pose mode so we can quickly pose the body before we add clothes so we can what I've done here is I've got um, in the file image editor I have some pre poses that I got from a site called Pose Maniac. So I just found this site from a video I was looking at AI for movies and it's quite a good site for pose references and you can take a screenshot. This is 360, you know, model. So you can take a screenshot of it and then start to pose it, you know, quickly as a good reference, you know. And I think in this MPFB you can save the poses. But for now I'm just going to make a video on just cranking out a pose quickly. Okay, whatever. So you can have a whole scene with about 10 different humans and just pose them as as you go and then print them out or you, you I think you can make presets. In fact, it says it up there, but I'm not going to go through that process today or ever, perhaps. <laughs> so I'm just posing this very quickly. RZ, just have them looking. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so now I'm going to apply clothes. Let's try and find that's come out of pose modes, go to object modes and apply assets. So the clothes should be somewhere here. Okay, they're down here. So we're going to go to um, clothes and we're just going to get some clothes on them like a casual suit or something. And the great thing about this, it conforms to the topology of the model we've made, you know, because it's all like make human. So th this dress isn't this skirt you know, isn't out of place on the body. We don't have to do anything with it. So that's a real kind of good bonus. Let's find hair. Just get some hair. There we go. That's all right. Okay, that's a bit too much hair, but that's fine. So you can see in Blender already, it's it's got a lot of advantages when you get past the kind of initial bugs. One bug is though, if you're doing three D printing, 
you'll find that the main body here has a lot of what's called shape keys. So these shape keys are to do with when we morph the body to what we want with the sliders. So we need to actually, it won't, what happens is when we go to the modifiers, we can't apply certain modifiers because it's got shape keys. So what we need to do is we have to find in this, you know, in, in the huge amount of settings here, how to collapse it. So we're going to find, just take that off. So basically we're going to find where we can do that. So operations, there we go. And we're going to bake shape keys. So now that should allow us to apply that going in like that. Okay. So if you come up with that bug, it's just bake shape keys. And then I can apply the all the clothes quite easily. Apply clothes. And apply the that. So everything's applied now, so I can hold down shift and select all the objects. One, two, three. Whoops. One, two, three. And now that's nothing to do. I've applied the object, so I've collapsed it. It's not to do with the rig anymore. So now we have separate objects, and we just need to left click and drag and control J. And then let's just do what I call a move test G, move it around, see if it's okay. I'll just delete that modifier there. So now we've got that and the if I rotate it the you know the geometry origins in a nice place okay and now basically all we're going to do it should have they, I didn't add eyes you add the eyes in but it, because these are just little models it's fine and once you've done this we're doing this for 3d printing so what you need to do is you, we need to set up see how it looks as a 3d print so you've got this here 3d print in the end panel so if you don't have that, you need to install it. It's actually in Blender, but it's not pre-installed, you know, so 3D print. There we go, that one. And make sure that's got a tick. And then once you're in there, you can just basically check all. So you need to do this to basically make sure it'll print okay. And make manifold will do the same. Just takes a while sometimes. And this is just going to tidy up the mesh for printing purposes. Obviously, we can spend a long time tidying up. And I'm just, you know, after doing this, we could tidy up a bit more. We just need to sort of check the results. So this is taking a while because I think the skirt needs to be filled in. Okay. And you can see now that, that it's really magic because it's kind of filled in the skirt. So a 3D print needs to be solid. So this is kind of a bit like a kind of resin model, as it were. Let's just go to the materials. Let's just nuke everything. And now this should work. Um, so we're going to export this. One check before you go from Blender. You want to check on face orientation. And with the Make Human and this plugin, it's a bit annoying because the face orientation is off and you can't. Uh, I need to do some work to, to merge it all together. But it's probably going to be okay if we're going to 3D print this. So let's just go to. So the best thing to do when you've got problems like this and you need a 3D print is the result that matters, not where all the normals are to so just check it so go here export selection only okay um, there and just export right and then we're going to come to cura okay and then now we're in cura i've just got the my old 3d print here my setting my um, 3d print is set up so you can print it to you know you can set up to whatever printer you've got and then here it should be this one so you're going to import the obj takes a while all right and there are some red bits here but don't worry about too much again it's the final look so let, imagine if we're doing a 120 that's quite big one scale 120 so that would be a hundred millimeters long so the green is the height it's coming up with there is um, you can always just try this and see so the height is green so we're going to do one 120 scale which is quite big and there you go so that's fine and then probably we're gonna just we could rotate it so she's standing up and have supports but we'll just do it like this we've got supports on we've got it extra fine and um, that's it so let's just do a slice so obviously this model's taking a while because of the it's quite complex
And you can obviously output this to a resin printer, which I want to get a resin printer. They're quite cheap. They're now in the hundreds. It's a little resin printer, and that will give really nice detailed things for models like this. And of course, you know, once you've got this model, you can cast it in resin. So this 3D print's not an end in itself. You can cast it. You can do a bit more modeling on the 3D print. You could add clay or something if it's an art piece, um, that kind of thing. So let's preview this. Let's zoom in right in. Whoops, oh no, it's the interface. I just changed the slicing. Let's just have, sorry, I'm gonna have to slice it again. Make sure I don't touch that next time. So again, you know, I was saying, you know, you can cast it. You can even try and cast it in something like concrete, even at a small scale. So I'm all into, basically the 3D print's not an end in itself. It can be, you know, used for so much more as a cast. Let's just, Gonna get to the end, sorry about this. I don't like videos that go on too long. Okay. And now we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna have a look at it. So we're gonna go down on the preview. And, and it, okay, it's not looking great, but I, I would actually print this out and see how it looks. Cause all these little areas, you can always file them off and then use things like Milliput to get them better. But as I say, you know, this process is kind of okay and I definitely recommend trying it. There's always going to be errors with kind of parametric kind of 3D stuff like these, you know, the, the make human. You could always remesh the figure. So you could try mess around doing things like that. So we could have a go at remeshing it. So we could do this and just really try and get it on the um, smooth. Is it the smooth? I forget. Yeah, but it's, it's giving it, oh, okay, it's kind of okay, isn't it? Well, if we did that, that would give a much better um, print, actually, yeah. But what's happening here? Well, always problems, always problems, but you can fill them in. And obviously this, once you've done that, you can apply that, okay, and it's got some horrible gaps on the bottom, and you could just click on Make a Manifold, that might take a while. But you can see the face orientation are all, is all blue now, so that's a good thing. And once that's been made manifold, after taking a while to do that, then it should be quite good for taking it into 3D print land. Anyway, I'm going to stop that there because, as I say, I don't want to go on too long, but um, have fun and let me know anything 